I'm very pleased indeed to be addressing African scientists at your fifth meeting of the African Sciences Academies and that this year's theme is improving maternal, newborn and child health in sub-Saharan Africa. I am passionate about that subject. Health is a prerequisite, as we know, for development. Healthy children can grow up to be productive members of their societies. And Sub-Saharan Africa is making progress on health, but there's still a long way to go for achieving the maternal and child health that is part of the Millennium Goals. There are signs of hope. I'm speaking to you, and you can hear the background noise from the immunization session in Longwe, Malawi, here in the new maternity wing of uh, Bailiwa Hospital. It's, Malawi is one of the poorest countries in Africa, yet the under five mortality rate has declined from 170 per 1,000 live births in 2000 to 111 per 1,000 live births in 2007 and still going down. And that's a remarkable achievement by one of the poorest countries. Two of the biggest child killers in Africa are pneumonia and meningitis. And these diseases kill more children, in fact, than AIDS, malaria, and TB combined. That's not always recognized. And they are preventable. Malawi has introduced the HIV vaccine, which prevents some ty types of pneumonia and meningitis. The vaccine works. It works well. A study here in Malawi showed that the vaccine virtually eliminated incidents of meningitis caused by HIV. The HIV vaccine is provided in a five-in-one shot, including antigens against diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, and hepatitis B, as well as HIV. And this is highly effective. The vaccine has reduced child mortality by approximately 4% since it was introduced, with support from the Gavi Alliance in 2002. Life-saving vaccines against pneumococcal bacteria, which causes pneumonia and meningitis too, and rotavirus, which causes severe diarrhea, are on the brink of being rolled out in Africa. We discuss this all the time on the Gavi board. We're very, very anxious that they would be uh, rolled out. The Gavi Alliance supports the rollout of these life-saving vaccines, as well as support for the health systems to deliver them in African countries. And we believe that this is extraordinarily important, and you, as African scientists, know the contribution that you can make to this cause. So I wish you a very successful meeting, and I look forward to staying in touch and working together for maternal and child health in every African country, and together with the health systems in those countries. Thank you.